There are only 100 of these in the world, and today we get a chance to take a closer look. This is Ghost Watches, I'm Casper, and today we get a chance to take a closer look at the Taurus Diver 65. Many thanks to a good friend of mine for lending in his timeless luxury watches, limited edition Oris Diver 65. This video is less of a review of this timepiece and more of a summary of what it's like to own a timepiece like this long term, well past the initial honeymoon phase. This limited edition watch is packaged in a couple different ways. In base form, it comes in at $2,200 and for that, you get the Tropic strap and leather. The rubber on this Tropic strap is beautiful. It is super soft and extremely flexible. I do have a couple gripes though with their leather strap. My friend doesn't appreciate so much the fact that they finish the edges with a black contrast. I don't mind that so much as, well, let's talk about the elephant in the room and that's the quality of construction. We're probably about a year in and it should have held up to age, but as you can see, it's starting to come apart already. My friend opted for the additional two-tone bracelet and he actually has that wrapped away safely. I have worn and tried that bracelet on and it is extremely comfortable. I love the feel of a two-tone watch and for me having the bronze and stainless steel is a less flashy way of accomplishing this. Just like the brand, this watch flies under the radar when on wrist. Oris should need no introduction, but in comparison to the much more highly known and marketed brands like Rolex, Omega, Tudor, Breitling, they are lesser known. They're one of the few companies around that are still independently owned and operated. Looking at the specs on the Oris Diver 65, I do prefer a watch with a little bit smaller proportions and this watch nails it for me. To make their limited edition stand out, Timeless Luxury Watches chose to use the Carl Brashear indices on a regular Diver 65 face. Add to that a beautiful seafoam green kind of dial with gilt markings and rose gold indices and hands and this watch stands apart from the rest of the Diver 65 lineup. I've seen the criticism of some reviewers online of the Diver 65 bezel and how it might not be as high quality as some other watches. To me, I'm looking at the entire design of the watch and let's be honest, we don't really use dive bezels that much anymore. So what am I looking at the bezel for? Well, I love how they used a two-tone approach to the design of this watch, making the grip on the bezel in bronze to offset the nicely polished stainless steel case. I love how the side profile is extremely slim to the eye, and when on wrist, it slides under cuff beautifully. A feature of the Diver 65 that I love is how well proportioned the crown is. It's very easy to grip and when you unscrew it, it comes out of the case with a very clearly defined pop. This brings me to a conversation that I've had with some folks and I see a lot online and that's in talking about the price placement of the Oris Diver 65 line of watches. Some folks will say, well, if you are going to spend that much money on a watch, why not save up more for a proper watch like a Tudor Black Bay or an Omega Seamaster? And to those conversations, I say, why are we so hung up on the brand name of a watch? Oris is a Swiss watchmaker that has been in the business as long as many of the big watch brands out there. They have the history, they have the catalog, they have the credibility to me as any other quote unquote luxury watch brand. So in many ways, I find this to be a great value compared to something like a Rolex or Omega. I'm able to get fine Swiss craftsmanship at an affordable price, especially if I'm looking in the used market. And after spending quite a bit of time with this watch, I can tell you confidently that the Oris Diver 65 is at the top of my list. And I believe it should be somewhere on yours as well. 